or have you been one of the oppressors all of you oppressing us especially with your hot bodies me with all my big tummy and stretch marks i'll come to social media and see everybody living their best life in their bikini in a beach somewhere i'm just like you know what unfollow 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 hey guys welcome back to my channel i am so happy to be back sitting down and filming this particular video i have for you guys today um like this is an important discussion this is a discussion that we should all have i believe and you guys i couldn't bother to to, to make up my face because today is actually a busy day but i just wanted to like come out here and just say this now because i don't know i've just been seeing a lot going on on social media and just people giving themselves the love unnecessary pressure and like the thing i feel with my friend kilichi a few days ago like when we talked about like pressure to get married it kind of got me motivated to come and sit down here and film this video for you guys so just grab a cup of tea sit down and let's just okay so i actually wrote down points I, I had to write them down because I had a lot of things to say because a lot of these things are things I've been through myself so I believe like I'm qualified to actually come and sit down and have this discussion with you guys okay so when it comes to like social media social media is such an important tool in our everyday lives right now as it is like but the thing about social media is it has its advantages and disadvantages and even though it has a lot of advantages there are some things that are just inevitable when it comes to like being present on social media and just keeping up with the world basically sometimes we just give ourselves unnecessary pressure you guys should know that every single person is different like we are all different in our own different ways and our lives are very different and the paths we take in life are going to be even more different and we just basically need to understand that it's very easy to get carried away with other people's lives and their decisions and their choices and just minding other people's business you know and you realize that when you do that you are the one that your own life is getting affected you're the one being disturbed by other people's content or other people's issues or other people's whatever it might be you know like when someone posts something on social media if you like the picture like it move on if you don't like it don't like it move on don't disturb yourself about it it's their life it's their picture live your own life be your own person that that person is having three boyfriends at the same time and boasting about it it is not my problem you guys i have bigger issues in life than to worry about how many boyfriend another girl has or that the girl has done plastic surgery is not your business it's her body if she wants to do it let her do it just like the picture and move on or don't like it and keep going even if it's like a whole post if you want to read it read it go if you don't don't let it affect your life don't go about saying ah this person is a bad person ah you know this group of people are this ah this will happen and be feeling holier than thou or just be feeling like you, your life is better or you're just a better person because are you are you really you're there being disturbed by what's going on so like just don't get your let yourself get distracted by things happening on social media just live your life live your damn life and leave other people's lives alone secondly is we realize that minus the part where people are very judgmental there is also a part of social media where like you feel like other people's lives are better than your lives and i've actually seen real people enter depression because they feel like well i, I know one or two because they feel like you know their lives are just not you know what it should be or their lives are not like the lives of the you know of their friends or like people they look up to on social media even me myself i myself more like i've been through a phase of depression in my life minus the recent one that has to do with childbirth i went through depression at first like after uni after my masters i think that was after my masters right before i met my husband actually when like um you know a lot of my friends were employed doing well like living large well maybe not large but just doing very well for themselves and there was a time before i got a job um where i was just unemployed i didn't even know what i wanted with my life i was just kind of depressed like okay i've gone to all this school i've done all this 
what next like what like what next you know I, I i wasn't getting paid i didn't have money to even enjoy life the way i wanted to enjoy life obviously my parents were still supporting me but is that really ever enough well in my case it wasn't i'm sure in some people's case it's more than enough yeah i i found myself just entering depression you know my friends wanted to hang out i wanted to hang out with them but sometimes just like I just found myself comparing my life to their lives and it just it just put me in such a bad mood at that time But now looking back, I'm just like, please I was knowing what I know now I actually had a good life but because maybe I was comparing myself to People that their parts in life, like I said, are very different from mine people that To their self, I can't I don't even want to live their lives for God's sake. I love my life like to me, I'm better off, you know, that can, obviously to them, they can be better off. But I'm just saying, I love the life that I'm living. I love where I am in life right now. I'm in such a good place. And I just keep wondering, why did I even ever let, like, all those kind of, un, like, um, unintended pressure get to me in the first place? I don't know if you guys get what I mean, but it's real. Because when you see your friends living and they, get, they have jobs, they're getting paid, like, real money, <laughs> well everyone is real and um or even if it's just they are getting married and having kids and you just feel like okay my friends are achieving all this and what am i really achieving it's their time it's their time to shine let them shine be happy for them because your own time will come if you feel like you're not shining now you're still going to shine that's one thing i've realized like the, at that point in life i felt like i wasn't shining but right now i am shining so freaking bright and i'm loving every single minute of my life and i wouldn't even trade my life for anybody's life right now any of my friends and i'm sure it's the same thing for them they probably enjoy the life they're living because it's their part this is my part that's their part we're all living lives and we're all happy so we should just try and not get carried away by things happening all around us moving on another thing is you know for example when when it comes to instagram especially instagram oh my god instagram is so good and so bad at the same time you see people posting pictures with their designer bags their fancy holidays their this their that you forget that people actually enter debt <laughs> like they literally owe their life out just to show up on instagram and at the end of the day like is their life really better than yours you that you're living your debt free life enjoying your life just being happy with your family and friends that is the greatest happiness i tell you believe me like my best time like my bestest time in this life is just when i'm lying down on my bed and my kids are just playing around me it's really that simple like it gives me so much joy like i'm with my husband my children we're just all playing eating granite and chewing bread seriously it's usually the best time when i'm away from my kids and you know all that i'm having fun i'm having a good time but is that really the best time of my life no it is not so you just have to realize what makes you happy you just have to sit down and think about okay if anytime i scroll through instagram i'm just sad and depressed blah 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 i'm unhappy you know doing all that but then if anytime i'm sitting in the house reading a book sipping my tea minding my business you know doing my job if your job is making hair if it's washing clothes whatever it is and you're happy then focus on that thing that makes you happy and try to eliminate those things that don't make you happy social media is not for everyone or if you feel like you're following the wrong people like people that just keep making you feel depressed unfollow them it's really that simple you don't have to put pressure on yourself because all those things are unintended pressure from those people they're not putting those pictures to oppress you even though some of them are putting it to oppress you okay <laughs> but you don't have to let yourself you know feel all that it is it's highly unnecessary you guys live your life be good be happy be happy you know like life is bigger than what we see online for example i make youtube videos i can come out here do a video with my husband do a vlog where we're all smiling and laughing everybody's happy you sitting at home fighting with your husband or your sister or whoever it is you'll be feeling like oh my life is all that you know i have the perfect marriage this and that you do realize that if i'm quarreling with my husband 
or I'm not in a good place in life, I'm not going to pick up my camera and be like, hey guys, hey guys. Of course not. Of course I'm not going to. So that's what we get twisted. Anything someone posts online is most likely their good times or their best times that they want you to see. No one shows you the bad times. No one shows you fight. I can't even picture myself, Francis and I fighting and I pick up a camera. It's not a good time to pick up a camera. So you guys see what we want you to see. It doesn't mean that that's how our lives actually are obviously that's part of our lives but then that's just one side there's a whole other side like i fight with francis i mean when we, when i mean we fight we fight over <laughs> stupid things like you didn't put your clothes in the laundry basket or what self you didn't hang the towel well i just saw the towel I remember like it's, it's it can be that little but they like we fight we fight over little things for the end of a marriage year we rarely fight over big things i don't think we've ever had any big fight like by big fight, I mean any big thing causing a fight. It's usually the smallest things I tell you. But all I'm trying to say is that we fight. There are times that I don't, I don't even want to see his face, not to talk of talking to him. I'm not going to pick up my camera that time. Even if I pick up my camera, I'll probably show you myself carrying on with my life. And you're not, you don't know what goes on in the background. If you're not watching my vlog and feeling like, oh, I'm living the, my best life. I'm doing this. I have the perfect marriage. It's really not. Like I like to say, everybody's marriage is perfect in its own way. My marriage is perfect for me. It doesn't mean that if you're married to my husband, it'll be perfect for you. You'll probably be miserable. Or if I'm married to another person's husband or somebody that just wasn't meant for me, I'll be miserable. So that's another thing. Everybody's life is different. Our paths are different don't get carried away on social media we can actually draw inspiration from social media but i feel like most people just don't use it for that for me on social media like when it comes to business or even personally i try to use social media to like grow myself grow my business like if i see something somebody else is doing i can draw inspiration from that and even make it better make it my own like it's inspiration these days everybody concerned about copying 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 please uh, like especially when it comes to clothes design is there something you're going to design today that Oh, I've not seen it before. If you like, copy the hand from this person, the leg from this person. We have seen it before. So you can use social media to like draw inspiration and just better your life, better your business. And don't look, use it to just oppress yourself. Are you guys getting me? I don't know. I just felt like I needed to come out here and sit down and just have this quick chat with you people. Have you guys like experienced any unnecessary pressure from social media or have you been one of the oppressors? All of you oppressing us, especially with your hot bodies. Me with all my big tummy and stretch marks. I'll come to social media and see everybody living their best life in their bikini in a beach somewhere. I'm just like, you know what, unfollow, 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 unfollow. So yes, I'm just going to unfollow all of you. I'm not, I'm not even here to joke. I mean, I will unfollow your ass, okay? Because, I mean, I don't need all that kind of pressure in my life. If I feel like something's giving me pressure, you eliminate it from your life. If you feel like something's giving you stress, you eliminate it from your life, okay? If you don't like something about your life, okay, change it. Even if it has to do with like your life, your body, your work, your environment, do something about it. Like I said, this is my body. I'm going to do something about it, okay? And that's the same way I'm doing something about things I don't like in my life, like my business, if I don't like anything in my marriage, if I don't like anything, like, personally, that has to do with me. I just try my best to change it. I work hard and work towards that thing I want. Instead of feeling bad for myself and just there, just waiting for people to pity me. I don't need anybody's pity. I am going to work hard. I am going to achieve all those things. And the ones that cannot be done in the gym will be done on the operating bed, okay? I don't know when I put up that video about my plastic surgery. Some of you had issues with this. Why do you want to change the body God gave you? Why do you want to do this? And it's not your business. It's my body. Let me and God, you know, talk about it when, I, when we meet, whenever we meet. Leave it for God to judge. Don't be here on social media judging people. All of you that are the judges, judge judges, leave it for us. Let's just, that's why you're stressed though. That's why your lives are stressing you out because you're minding other people's business for them. Like I said, if it's something you like, comment the person, like, comment, whatever you have to do. If it's something you don't like, just move on. Don't let it disturb you. Remember, it's not your life. They're not your sister, not your brother, not your, not your father, not your mother. Just move on. That's my motto. Like, that's what I live by. If I don't like something, I just keep scrolling. Just keep scrolling. It's that simple. Then if I like something, good. I'm going to share it with my friends. 
if it's a meme or whatever it is share my friends be happy let's all be happy together okay i just wanted to come out here and have this small chat with you guys hopefully this video helps one or two people it's just something that i felt i needed to just let it out okay um yeah click that subscribe button let me know in the comment section like if you felt like pressure from anywhere in life or if you felt oppressed or like i said if you're the ones oppressing us and <laughs> i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys